Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to read you a story called A Day at School. Now remember, if you like this story, hit the thumbs up below and share it with your friends. Also, remember to subscribe if you have not yet done so. Thank you. It was Friday. Bev's class was going to have a spelling test after break. When Bev got to school, she went out under the big tree. She spelled the words over and over. Soon the bell was ringing. It was time for school. Bev's friend, Joy, came up to her. How is the spelling? She said. I wish I had more time, said Bev. I wish the test were after lunch. Me too. I wish it was next week, said Joy. I wish it was next never said Bev. The two of them laughed. The two classes before break were reading and writing. Bev liked these classes, but she was thinking about the test all the time. At the break time, the two girls went and did some more spelling, but break was not long. After a little while, the bell was ringing again for the end of the break. Joy said, good luck, Bev. Same to you, said Bev. When they got into the classroom, Mrs. Brown told them she had some work to do for the principal. She asked them to go on with their spelling until she was ready. Bev and Joy were sitting near a window. All the children were working hard. Suddenly, Bev said, Can you smell something? No, said Joy. What is it? Something is burning. I smell smoke, said Bev. Joy smelled and smelled. I don't smell anything, said Joy. But I still smell it, Bev said. She put up her hand. Please, miss, I smell smoke. Mrs. Brown looked around and went and looked outside. I don't smell or see any smoke, Beverly, she said. Then she packed up her papers. Time for the test now, said Mrs. Brown. Suddenly a boy called out, See the fire there? All the children jumped up and ran to look. There was an old house on the land next door. Smoke was pouring out of it. A boy ran to tell the principal. Then Mrs. Brown told the class to take their things and go out into the yard quickly. But all the children in the school were out in the yard by this time. When the fire truck came, fire and black smoke were pouring out of the house. The firemen poured water onto the fire they poured water into Bev's classroom too, so that it would not catch fire and burn. What a good time the children had in the schoolyard. It was better than a holiday. By the time the fire was over, it was nearly lunchtime. Mrs. Brown and the children went to look at their classroom. It was very wet. Mrs. Brown called the class under the big tree. Well, children, it looks as if we cannot go back into the classroom today, she said. So I do not think we can have the test today. All the children laughed and clapped. Mrs. Brown laughed too. But the test will be the first thing next week, she said. That is all right, Bev said to Joy. I will be ready for it next week. The end. I hope you liked this story. If you did, again, remember, hit the thumbs up button below and... Click the subscribe if you have not already done so. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.